I'm so happy to have Anna Morales here with us in the studio. Give Joy to One Missions is a ministry that has a heart here in Lima, but the heart is in Guatemala. Tell me about this ministry. Sure. So our main focus, focus is um, orphans and low-income families. Mm. We started about 12 years ago as a ministry, but we were there before just helping out. And we had, um, we wanted to adopt and the adoptions in Guatemala closed. Mm. So um, we had some friends in Missouri. We were really good friends and they have a daughter from Guatemala. And we decided to start going back and helping out at the orphanage. Mm. Um, we have been blessed to be at that orphanage for 12 years, mm. but we also adopted a little village outside the city. Wow. And um, we have built a church, we help in the school at the village, and now we are doing uh, wells. Uh, we actually don't do the wells. We partner with somebody that does the wells, and we help with the pipes. So from the wells, we um, buy all the pipes that go to people's houses. And um, now we have more villages that have asked for our help. We try to stay small because um, everything is expensive. Mm. And um, we focus on our small homes. Um, we have three homes in the city, orphanages. Mm. Um, I don't like to call them orphanages. Yeah, um, yeah. They're, they're, they're a home base. Yeah. Uh, we have 22 kids in one orphanage and then the other ones, we have different numbers just because they go and come and you know they rotate and move around. But on a given day, we have about 70 kids that we, that we help out. Mm. And we have a special needs home that has been open for two years and they're adult children. Oh, wow. um, we have only six kids there with a five in staff. Um, they all have very high end of the spectrum of special needs. Yeah. And they, they need a lot of help. So mm -hmm. we almost have one nanny per child just because they are older and they need so much help. But our ministry is to, it started as, you know, helping orphans, but it has grown to so much. Paint a picture for me of what it's like in Guatemala. Um, because here in the United States, I would venture to guess one of our pretty rundown houses could be considered a nice house compared to some of what they have. Correct. Um, so I grew up in Guatemala and um, I grew up in a very shelter home, I think. But um, after we moved to the States and we started helping and we saw the need, we wanted to adopt and all that. You know, I have been into places that, you know, it's a home, but it's just a little, you know, three wall shack with um, a tin roof and tarp around. Mm -hmm. And uh, right now we're building um, six homes in a dump. Uh, we have really? 22 families that live in the dump. There's five homes that has already been built. We're building six more, and hopefully, um, you know, by the end of the year, we'll have more funds to finish all the homes. Um, so we have 22 families that live in the dump, and um, sounds kind of strange that we're building in the dump, but this is all they know. This is their home. Can you describe for me what it's like in the dump? Um, it's very shocking, even for me. Uh -huh. um, so I'm taking a new team down on Saturday and it's, you know, it's very overwhelming. You come into a, to a grounds and you just picture trash everywhere. Mm -hmm. The smell is very overwhelming and there's no bathrooms there and there's people that live there. So it's very humbling and when you come back to the States, mm -hmm. it's harder because we are so blessed. Huh. Even the people that have barely, you know, that live in a very low income here have so much more. Wow. Um, in the village where we work, they live in about six to seven dollars a day, but the families are very large. Some families have 12 kids and they keep having kids because their hope is that the boys will help in the field. Mm. Um, the 
infant mortality is very high mm. because of the, the nutrition that they don't have. Mm. Um, the mothers usually, you know, after having 12 kids, your body is, you know, right. very run down. Right. So the kids are very um, underweight. Hmm. And there's programs in Guatemala that the government has tried to help with. But um, it, there's 17 million people in Guatemala. In, in, in Guatemala is in, the size of Tennessee. It, the size of Tennessee, yeah. yes. So it's, we're very small. But, um, you know, there's still a lot of people that don't go to the city. They stay in the villages. So, you know, after fourth or fifth grade, sixth grade sometimes, they quit school. There's no further education that mm -hmm. they can go to. Um, they would have to go to a bigger town or the big city. And they, you know, when you live in a village in a mountain, yeah, that's totally not possible. You don't want to leave your family, you know, know how to live outside a village. They live very, very poorly and there's no medical care. So we have brought a doctor every year that we go mm. and that's the doctor that they see. Hmm. So that's pretty much what we do. <laughs> so by the time you, you watch this, um, we will have, uh, th this trip will have already happened because we're taping this ahead of time. But July 2nd, Ana is, and is Jose going as well? Yes, so Ana and her husband Jose are taking 16 people? 16 people, yep. Including a doctor. Yes. And what do you expect to happen? Um, our plan is to go visit the homes first and then move to the village and do the, these uh, homes in the dump. And then we're going to also help in building a school in another village. So you're helping orphans, which there are 370 to 500,000 orphans in yes. Guatemala. You're helping families, you're helping communities. This is, this sounds like it's this big. I'm mean, wow, it's amazing. <laughs> yeah, God has opened so many doors for us. At the beginning, you know, our budget was like $4,000. And right now we just only in materials, we spend $37,000. Mm. So our ministry has grown so much. So yes. we're unfortunately just about out of time because I would love to hear more and more stories about, about what's happening there and your experiences, but how can people help? How can they pray? How can they give money? What are the next steps that people can do? Yes, so the best thing, please pray for us. Um, we have so many things that we wanna do. And because um, there's so much need, we have to really be wise in how we spend our money. We do focus first in our orphanages. They're the ones that get, you know, our kids go to a private school and the special needs kids have a teacher that come to their home. Mm. So we always need money. Um, if you wanna uh, donate, 100% of all the donations go to our ministry. Mm. We don't take anything, we don't get paid. Everything goes back to our ministry. You can, and they can go through the website? Yes, okay. go to the website, givejoyto1.com, and you can see past trips, you can see updates on the kids and pictures, and all the information is there, but you can reach out to me anytime. All right. Yes. Ana Morales, thank you so much for sharing thank with you. us, and uh, thank you for what you're doing. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me here. Thank you. Thanks.